Welcome back to the Pedagogy TLS. This is Abdul Ghafoor and you are watching our YouTube channel. ECD Pedagogy, uh, 16 February session. This is one of the urgent video. I wanted to share important information regarding the math part. Uh, there are some questions related to the math domain. So I have noticed one question in the study guide. I explained it uh, already in my previous video. You can see here. But one of the common mistake in this question, not a common mistake that teachers do to, uh, you know, answer, they think the answer for this question is a merge. Because uh, Chaham has six dirhams and his father has given the four dirhams. So that means they are merging. So this concept, they actually, it's hard to understand for them that uh, why it's not much. Actually, this is wrong. The correct answer is a change, right? Now, let's see how it's a change and from where uh, this question has been taken. So, I'm going to explain a few things regarding uh, this question. Let's see. Now, this question has been taken from the additive schema. Okay, let's see what is the additive schema. Actually, uh, when children, they are struggling with the word problems, one of the strategies is the uh, schema best. Now, schema best is what? That we have to mind map based on characteristics in order to understand or recognize the problem and they can figure out the answer correctly. So here, uh, one of the strategy is the uh, additive schema now, edited schema is what? Uh, that schema for addition and subtraction. Called additive schema. I'm sure now you are familiar with this one. There are three types of additive schema. Number one. Now, change problem, combine problem, and compare problem. Now, these all three are different to each other. We have to understand first. You know. Let's first understand the problem, this part, right? Now, the change problem are when an amount increase or decrease, right? Because something changes or happens to the starting number, right? Let's see. Now, what is the starting number and what is the something is going to be changed, right? You can see here. Uh, this is the uh, additive, as you can see here, very close, that's too much close. Uh, here, additive schema. So this is the starting. This is the change. So when we are increasing or decreasing this value, so definitely there will be change in this, right? The whole will be, end will be changed. So we should remember in a change problem, we have a three components, start, change. That means the value we are going to add or the value we are going to subtract. And the end result will be definitely changed. So when end result is going to be changed, that means the starting number is going to be changed because we add it or we subtract the value. So this is the one thing. Now, if you look at the problem that we have just discussed, that has been taken from this domain. Like what? You can see here, Carly has a three ribbons start. She has, now she gave, uh, she gives her a two ribbons now change is increased, right? How many ribbons does clarify? So this is, you can see here. So that will be end is a five. What problem is this one? Change problem. I hope this will help you to understand. Now there are, uh, let me show you the question again in order to be sure. Uh, you can see here now the instruction of the question uh, that I have already shared with you. Now let's read the question. A teacher gave her students the following equation. Chaham has a six dharam. His father gave him a four dharam. So how many dharams does him? So what problem is this? That's we call the change problem. And from where this has been taken? This has been taken from the editative schema. <coughs> let's... I'll discuss a few more components related to that. Uh, that will help you a lot. <clears throat> okay. 
now in increase added you can see here and is unknown right noted down here change is unknown it has a three parts right in increasing in addition right i'm not talking of in start start is unknown <clears throat> now start is unknown so how we can do that so we have to uh uh plus four we have to subtract from the end and we'll be getting the start so this thing <clears throat> these things you should know now decreased change in decrease right change problem in a decrease so we have to understand both some examples change problem where the numbers are decreases that means we'll be uh subtracting carly has three ribbons and uh, she gave uh, she one ribbon, so minus will be one. Again, it's a change problem, so the end will be change, right? This is again change problem, so in which the end is unknown again, but subtraction. Change is unknown. Here the start is unknown. So these component uh, you must know. Regarding combined problem, now, combine problem, this is a one of the strategy. We are applying part, part as a whole, right? Part, part as a whole. So in a combined, that means part, part as a whole. So here, uh, how we can recognize these problems? You, you can see here, solving the total problem, right? So part, part, what we'll be getting? Whole. Solving the missing part. That means the missing part, the second part is missing part one is given and part two is the missing so what we'll be doing we'll be subtracting so solving for a missing part so these are the headlines these are the subtopics you should know that in a part part four whole how many methods we can use it and what strategies we can apply it the last one is the compare now in compare we have these keywords and greater and less on the difference right so these three things you should know that in additive schema compare we are using the concept of greater and less than now like what difference is unknown right here is greater is unknown however in this part last part the lesser is unknown so these components you should they can give it to your scenario uh, to solve these problems. So I hope this information will help you a lot. If you have any question related to that, feel free to discuss. My contact number has been given in the description for online classes for all cycle, computer specialization, uh, social studies specialization, English cycle to math specialization. Feel free to discuss. You will be finding all the detail into the description. We'll be meeting in the next lesson. Till that, stay blessed and take care.